welcome to Ask Charlie. Today I am in the tack room. Although I'm not going to be in here for very long, I am going to show you how to clip a pony. Now I am absolutely no clipping expert at all. In fact, I'm ashamed to say that it's taken me years to um, build up the confidence to actually give it a go myself. But um, but I have been doing it and I thought I'd share with you how, how I clip. I've, and I've had various people say, Charlie, please will you show us? Because actually we're too scared to, um, we've never done it before either. And actually, like all these things, it's easier than you think it's going to be. It's just about braving it. So I am looking pretty, pretty scruffy, pretty messy. I've just got my um, musto and my waterproof trousers on. Anything fleecy, woolen, don't wear when you're clipping dirty old clothes and something that the hair can just kind of brush off is is the best thing. Now I've got two sets of clippers. I've got these which are the Heinegger Progress. They plug in. Clippers are expensive but I, I personally believe if you invest in a decent pair they're going to last you a long time. I've got my old live rumen ones here from when I was a child and they have finally given up the ghost and so I've invested in this pair um, at the beginning of the autumn and these are them. I recommend that you get a spare set of blades. I think a set of blades does about two to three clips Again, I'm not an expert, but if you've got a spare set, when you send off your set for sharpening, you've got you've got a spare pair of blades. So those are my clippers. They're quite heavy, but they're not too heavy. And it's really important that you have a good feel um, of your clippers. If you're using a really heavy pair of clippers, it's going to hurt your arms. So um, that's my spare set of blades. Um, they come with a brush, they also come with oil, it's really important to use clipper oil before, during and then cleaning your clippers and putting them away. I've also oh gosh, that's the plus, um, invested in a mini set of clippers, my mini ones, these, I've had gosh probably for about 10 years and they have finally um, they finally got, yeah, had, had better days. So I've invested in a mini, mini pair of clippers, which is really good for the awkward spots, ears and, you know, little, little, little tricky areas. And again, these are um, chargeable, which is really handy. So you can charge them up and then um, get going with them. These are great for dogs. I've even used them, well, not this pair, but the other pair on Sai and the children during lockdown. So um, really handy. Again, when I ordered them, I got a spare set of blades and I do think it's worth investing in the spare set. So enough chit chat from me. Let's get clipping. The other important thing is I'll make sure that you have eaten and that you've got a drink to hand as well. I know that may sound ridiculous, but you don't want to be hungry when you're clipping. I I learned the hard way the first time I did it. It, you know, it's going to take a good couple of hours. So you want to kind of be prepared. You want to make sure that you're not in a rush. You want to make sure that you give the pony breaks, that the clipper blades don't get too hot. So you know, make sure that you've got a good few hours spare to to clip and you're not trying to, you know, do it in a rush job. I'm clipping in the morning, so I've got plenty of time. The weather was filthy yesterday, but the forecast is pretty good today. So I thought actually it's a perfect opportunity to get clipping. So here we've got darling Cassie. Sorry, the sun's doing funny things. Um, she is very, very woolly. She's desperately in need of clipping. And so we better get going. Make sure that you've got somewhere to put your clippers on. I've just got a stool down here, which I can rest my clippers on and turn them on and just get your pony used to the noise before you go in for it. 
I'm going to start at the shoulder. I'm going to start at the shoulder and work my way up. I'm actually going to give her a full, full clip. So I'm not going to be showing you how to do any kind of funny, funny lines or patterns or anything like that. I'm just going to give her a full clip. We actually clip Cassie all year round because she is um, a very, very hairy pony. And to be honest, she should have been clipped about a month ago. But anyway, come on, let's go. When you're clipping, it's important to go against the direction of the hair growth. So you can see that I'm going upwards. There are certain areas like here, I'll need to turn the clippers and go round that way. So it's really important that you work against the hair. And you can see it gets very messy. I find the hardest bit to clip is along the main line. So just, I think, slowly, slowly, gradually do it, unless you're feeling really, really confident. And you just want to try and keep it as straight as possible and as close as possible. So I'm just gradually working my way upwards. to keep the pressure as even as possible and, um, and and be you know firm and confident as you go up I'm going to leave that for now and come back and address it in a minute it's also important to have a rugged hand so your pony doesn't get cold so in a minute I will pop a rug over Cassie because it's important that she doesn't get a chill while she's standing here um, while I'm clipping her Now here you can see that the hair starts to grow in a different direction so I need to turn the clippers and go that way too. Oh, yeah. 
sorry that the light is terrible. There's nothing I can do though. It's lovely that we've got some sun and actually Cass is not getting too cold, which is excellent. I'm working as quickly as I possibly can. Now, when you get to the tail area, you want to have a V. Oh, she's moved and you can't really see. Oh, she's having a scratch. Um, you want to have a V just at the top. So I'm just, I can't get that even until I've done the other side. But I'm just gonna take the clippers up. And then I'll even that out when I do the other side of her light is much better this side which is really really good so I'm going to work as quickly as I can and get the rest of this fluff off dear Cassie this is my scary bit so I'm going to get her mane brushed over as much as I can and then just take the clippers as close to her mane as possible. It's difficult to distinguish between fluff, that is fluff, and that is mane. Just given Cassie a little break, brushed her off, let the clippers cool a little bit, and um, I think we're making good progress. So I'm going to crack on with this back end here, which you can't really see. Um, we're doing well. We're doing well. Now it doesn't matter if you miss a bit because you can just go back over it. The longer strokes that you do, the better, but it really doesn't matter. Um, it's just, you know, there are little bits there. I will just go over again, 
Dear Cassie is being very good and we're very lucky to have this winter sunshine that we've got today. Right, for this back point, I tail is filthy and needs doing, but... So I don't know if you could see, I haven't gone in as close yet on this side. I'm just gonna take her tail to one side and just very, very delicately go up this side here. Um, the camera in here because it's getting a little bit windy but I'm just going to do as much of her legs as I can with the big clippers I've just popped a rug over her I've just um, I haven't done it up I've just popped it over her just to keep her back warm while I do her legs and the fiddly bits Make sure that you stop from time to time to give your clippers a good brush out and an oil. Let your pony have a little bit of a rest and let the clipper blades cool down. That is something that is jolly important.
this the sun is amazing today Cassie is being very very patient dear girl I've just got her head left to do so we're going to just get stuck in with that probably one of my least favorite bits along with the mane but um you're gonna be a good girl for me aren't you yes you are so I'm just going to undo her head collar just here and just work around her face. It's, um, I'd like to start on this side, but actually you can't see, so I'll do the other side first. half a head which is sort of along that line I'm actually because Cassie is such a woolly bear I'm actually just going to fully clip everything um, there's no right or wrong reason um, you know it's personal preference and whatever you prefer but I'm going to be leaving her whiskers on so I won't go too close around her nose area but we will get as much of this fluff off as we possibly can yes we will Cass clippers now just to tidy up little little bits and to do her bridal path which is up here <laughs> see and it's clipping off she's been very 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 patient and we're making good progress aren't we dear Cass so when you do the bridal path just make sure that you don't take masses off you just want it to be I don't know an inch and a half um see what's been taken off before grab hold of it and let me just take it off like 
so and I do need to tidy up we've still got quite a lot of fluff going on around here so I'm just going to use the mini clippers to get that fluff off yes you are a very good girl you are that air and just run the clippers. I know, I know. You don't really like that. I don't really. has taken a good couple of hours. Um, I am going to give her a good brush off and then put a second rug on her because I've clipped her. It's really important that she doesn't get cold so she's going to have an extra rug on under her turnout rug which is over there. Um, so I hope that you found that helpful. I know that it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea but there may be a time where you need to clip a pony and you can say ah oh, Ask Charlie showed us. But it's just about having a go, being confident, taking your time, not rushing. And I do find doing a full clip far easier than having to do kind of lines with legs and saddle patches and things like that. But it is personal preference. But if you are going to do lines, like a saddle patch or um, leave their legs on, then use a bit of chalk or something like that. Obviously you can't use chalk on a gray pony but use something to mark the lines. Um, that's quite a good way to do it. And um, yes, anyway, I am going to just, oh, I know she's getting grumpy. Give her a good brush off and then um, change her rug and pop her out to enjoy the rest of the afternoon in the sun.